performance. More and more buyers want road cars that can zap anything on wheels. And that's where your Chevrolet sports department comes in first. The reason? Chevrolet know-how in building durable, rugged engines. Let's see how Camaro Z28 and Chevelle SS396 zap competition. First, Camaro Z28 versus Mustang Mach 1. Don't be surprised if Ford builds a Mach 2 version after the Z28 rules the upcoming Trans Am like it did in last year's competition. The Z28 piloted by Mark Donahue completely dominated the grueling tests and captured the manufacturer's award in the SCCA Trans American Sedan Race Series. Here's where the Z28 leads the pack, the 302 engine masterpiece. No optional engine is needed. It'll do everything and more that Mach 1's standard 351 and optional 351 and 428 will do. They won't stand up to the Z28 because the Z28 engine has a forged steel crankshaft to withstand the shock of blazing acceleration as demonstrated by Mark Donahue. The Mach 1 engines with cast iron crankshafts can't match the Z28 in durability tests. Plus, while the Z28 and Mach 1 engines all have 4-inch bores, the Z28 has a half-inch shorter stroke, which means its pistons travel 8 inches less per revolution than Mach 1's 351. Reduced travel and friction mean increased efficiency and durability. Plus, the Z28 engine has a higher compression ratio, 11 to 1, to squeeze out more power. Power is meaningless if the rear suspension can't keep it on the ground. Chevrolet solved the tremendous torque buildup problem with staggered shop absorbers and heavy-duty multiple leaf springs. Ford liked the idea so much they borrowed it for the Mach 1, but they didn't follow through here. Z28's wheels are an inch bigger and wider. That means greater tire traction and less work for the engine. Very important on the straightaways. And in the turns, Z28 hangs in there better with quicker steering and a wider tread than Mach 1. Brakes, four-wheel discs are optional for the Z28. Corvette is the only other American car with them. Of course, Z28, the super hugger, is the closest thing to the classic Corvette. Ford puts the super label on Mach 1, but check this. Mach 1 has a gas tank trunk floor, just like the plain Jane Mustang. Okay, let's check. The Chevelle SS396 against Cobra and Roadrunner. In Sport Intermediates, the SS396 emblem is it, the beginning and the end to performance-minded drivers. One reason, these high-performance machines undergo more stress and strain in a year than most cars get in a lifetime. It takes a strong foundation to stand the gaff. The SS396 is the only one of the three with a full perimeter frame and rugged box section body combination. The only plus for competition's compact size unitized construction is it's cheaper to build. Chevelle's superior construction is even more significant here. Ford and Plymouth build all intermediates on 116 inch wheelbases. Cars that big, high performance or not, need full frames. Two-door Chevelles have 112-inch wheelbases, giving them quick size handling to cut a circle in a foot shorter space than Cobra, two feet shorter than Roadrunner. Another plus, full-inch wider wheel rims on the SS396 for better handling and greater traction. The SS396 also grabs the road with a wider tread and leaves competition hanging on the wall with super quick, variable ratio power steering. Plus, the SS396 package includes power front disc brakes. They're extra cost on Cobra and Roadrunner. Power plants. The two SS396 mills both have the honor-winning porcupine heads. Intake and exhaust passages have separate ports to feed gas directly to the valves for faster mixture and combustion. Only the SS396 offers a choice of officially recommended regular street engines. Turbojets rated at 325 and 350 horses. 
Cobra comes with a 428 at 335 horses and the same basic engine in a separate option called Cobra Jet Ram Air, which includes functional hood scoops. Roadrunner's standard 383 engine is rated at 335 horses. A 426 Street Hemi, recommended for sanctioned racing, is available at an extra $813. At that price, you can go full throttle with the one that started it all, the Corvette. Here's something Cobra and Roadrunner can't offer for any amount of money, a chambered dual exhaust system. Standard with the 350 horsepower mill, this straight through system emits a nice legal masculine sound dear to the ears of performance buffs. Greater model selection is another plus on your side of the wide oval tracks. You can sell the SS396 on all three Chevelle coupes and the Malibu convertible. The Cobra comes in only two models, Roadrunner in only three models. Another plus is prices. SS396 list prices start at $305 under the lowest priced Cobra, $50 under the lowest priced Roadrunner. Z28 SS396. They zap the competition with plenty of zip to spare. The most efficient and durable power plants in the business. Your tickets to big sales in the Chevrolet Sports Department.